So we're delighted to provide the approval in principle from Lloyd Register to Irma First for their innovative carbon capture and storage system. Uh, as we've heard today at the conference here at Maritime Cyprus, much of the challenge is what steps can we take today to make shipping uh, cleaner, greener, reduce our emissions straight away. And I'm uh, convinced that carbon capture and storage is one of the essential ingredients of the many options that we're facing. So our huge congratulations go to the Irma First team uh, and we look forward to supporting the first installations of this new system. So today we're honoured uh, to receive the Lloyd's Register approval in principle for Irma First carbon capture and storage system. We're very delighted, not only because we have managed to develop such an innovative system quite early, but also because we believe into this solution. We believe that carbon capture and storage is um, a mature solution, which is already used on the shore for quite many years. And it is our responsibility to marinize it and put it on board the vessels in order to provide solution to the challenging uh, problem that uh, ship owners currently facing, that of decarbonization of shipping. Uh, the development of mankind, the development of our economies, the, de the development of our countries was based in oil and we cannot see an energy future without oil. The carbon capture solution gives us the possibility to continue using hydrocarbons in the most efficient and most climate correct way. We very much support the carbon capture and storage solution because we definitely see all the advantages, not only for shipping, but also for the entire supply chain. Uh, we're very proud and honored to be awarding this approval in principle for the Irma First carbon capture uh, and storage system. Uh, it's a, a great prospect for shipping to gain control of uh, the fuel used and uh, uh, deal with uh, and have more applications of carbon capturing technology which allows the owners uh, to decarbonize as we speak and most of all uh, it's also applicable as a retrofit to existing ships. Something which is crucial on achieving targets since uh, it will take some time uh, for us to mobilize the whole new alternative fuel value chains.